Today, we are going to talk about Tosin Abasi's new live rig, and it doesn't seem to include the Axe effects. One thing is definitely certain, he's not using any type of amp modeling for his guitar sounds. No, instead, Tosin is using real tube amplifiers. <laughs> Tosin, the eight string guitarist extraordinaire, is using a stereo rig using Bad Cat amps. One is a Bad Cat Lynx and the other one is a little prototype called the Jet Black. And he's using those in stereo with Bad Cat speaker cabinets. I remember a rig rundown many years ago with Tosin where he was using the Axe Effects as his amp sound for his live performances. Then years later, he switched up to uh, using Morgan amps, which was a little surprising that now he was using a real tube amplifier and the Axe FX was there in the loop just for effects like delays, reverb, and God only knows what else. But this is new because now he's doing it in stereo with these Bad Cat amplifiers. And this is what Tosin has to say about it. When I plugged into the new Bad Cats, I didn't have to look for my sound first. It was immediately there. I hadn't heard such clarity and definition before. The man knows what he likes. This is clearly something that he feels is important enough to go ahead and partner up with Bad Cat to, to use real tube amps. Now we don't know what's on his pedal board and I don't know if the Axe effects is still in there somewhere, perhaps in the loop, again, for delays, reverbs, and other special effects. But regardless, I consider Tosin part of this new school of guitar players that fully embrace the digital modeling, yet, he seems to now prefer real tube amps. In fact, the Last Animals as Leaders album was initially recorded using plugins and perhaps the Axe FX. And this is what they've been doing for years, using digital modeling and plugins to record the albums. But for the last album, they ended up retracking all the guitars by reamping into real tube amps mic'd up, uh, using speaker cabinets mic'd up. But this isn't a pro tube amp argument. Dave Murray from Iron Maiden is now all Axe Effects. He's using the Axe Effects for his amp sounds. That's what's going to front of house. That's what's going to his speaker wedges. But he is still using real 4x12 Marshall speaker cabinets also to monitor. And Joe Satriani just recorded his last album using Plugins. He did not use real amps and speaker cabinets to get the sound. He said that the plugins sounded just as good, so just use that. But of course, for his live touring, Joe is still using real Marshall amps and speaker cabinets. So he's still using the tube amps and speaker cabinets for his tours. Okay, so where does this lead us when it comes to tube amps and digital devices? Axe Effects is a good product. The IK Multimedia Tone X pedal is a great product. Numerous, there's thousands of IRs out there and they're very good, I know, because I've used a lot of those IRs and I think the well-recorded ones sound killer. But when it comes to a live performance, there really is something about having the tube amp with four by with a four by 12 cabinet behind you. That is something that no pedal and no uh, digital modeling can replicate. Replicate that sound of a four by 12 roaring behind you. So for those of you that have been lucky enough to experience that like I have, Digital modelers can't replicate that. So it's very interesting. Both Dave Murray and Tosin have real speaker cabinets pumping volume at them on stage, but Dave Murray uses the Axe FX for his amp sound. Tosin has decided to use Bad Cat amps for his amp sound. So I think here is the bottom line. As much as digital fanatics uh, want to praise the digital technology, 
Real tube amps aren't going away anytime soon. In the next few years, manufacturers are still gonna make tube amps and they're gonna still sell lots of tube amps and lots of artists, lots of players are still going to buy tube amps. But this is good news. It means we have choices. We can have products like the Tone X, like Neural D DSP, the numerous plugins, the Axe Effects, or we can also choose to use guitar amplifiers. Myself, I did a little bit of a hybrid approach for my last EP. I used my Mesa Mark 525 amplifier, but I also used IR. So if you listen to my EP, that's the sound of a real amp, but I am using IRs. I did not mic up speaker cabinets to record. And I'm right now getting ready to do some live performances. I'm still gonna use the Mesa Mark 525 and my Mesa Lone Star 1x12 cabinets. I won't be using any IRs, but in the future, I probably will somehow put some IRs in there in a stereo format to get it out to the front of house. So what do you think about this, you guys? Here is a new school guitarist like Tosin going to real tube amps, not only for recording, but for live performances. And you have an old school player such as Dave Murray uh, going for an Axe Effects for his live performances, and Joe Satriani, a very old school player, using plugins for his latest album. What do you think of all this? Do you have a preference? Do you like using a combination of both of them? Because right now I do like using a little bit of a combination of both. It's just kind of fun that way. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.